and Max, although due to some legal malarkey, it reads Maggie on my college application and this simple implication leads to confusion when I'm introduced as Max but the lanyard around my neck says otherwise. And my slight lisp leads to a common mispronunciation, like when my old teacher called me Matt for two weeks, much to my classmates' enjoyment. I'm 16, by the way. That difficult age where everyone expects you to make adult decisions while still treating you like a 12-year-old. I get to decide what I want to do for the rest of my life, but I can't vote for the people who decide what jobs are available to me. Such fun. And whilst most of my friends and family would say that I'm confident and outgoing, I still can't ask for help finding what I want in a shop or order my own food in a restaurant. I get anxiety attacks if I'm late to school, but never get homework in on time or behave well in class because I've realised that attendance is more important than everything else combined. And as long as I don't shout and swear and hit things, I can get away with anything in those classes. I learnt that one the hard way. And even though most of me is bigger than I'd like, I have really small hands and really thin lips. People often tell me that my makeup is on point, even though I feel like a clown. I contour way too harshly and have a tendency to overdraw my lips and wear my eyeliner much like Amy Winehouse did. And even though sometimes I would rather die than see certain people, I try to always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> and everyone who tells me I'm too young to know that reference, know this. My parents rose me on out-of-date pop culture. Everything from Python to Bowie. <laughs> and believe me when I say I've seen every episode of Red Dwarf. Sci-fi is big in my house and my family watch things together. When David died, we drank champagne and watched Labyrinth and cried. <laughs> Although my dad has managed to avoid the mighty boosh so far. My mum read me Pippi Longstocking and what Katie did. And now I read my six-year-old sister Alice in Wonderland and the Chronicles of Narnia after hearing her rendition of my generation, of course. A song that is somehow still relevant today. You would have thought that after decades of young people complaining about how they're treated, adults would have started treating us better, having been in our position not long before us. Sometimes I wish I'd been a teenager in the 80s, gone to see Bowie live, and worn neon orange eyeshadow without the strange looks. Well, with fewer strange looks, it would have been awesome. Well, everything apart from the politics, because Frank Turner was right when he sang Thatcher fucked the kids. And even though David Cameron is shit too, I'm just glad I only have to deal with Donald Trump in meme form. And I still find it hard to believe that some people didn't vote for Obama, including my grandma. Because even though I don't live there, it's where my mum grew up. Good old Springfield, Illinois. And yes, that is half the reason I hated being called Maggie. Too many Simpsons jokes. From friends and paramedics. When you have your entire life online, it gets hard to live without documentation. And the elation I get from the, my creations being seen by people from all over the world is one I've never matched. I wish my parents understood that. Because whilst Tumblr, to me, is a place where I can get help or just be myself, it made my sister's depression worse. And I just want to make her better, but I don't know how, so... So for now, I'll just be kind. Because, but keep in mind, not too kind, because it is not something that sisters are all the time. So yeah, life is pretty complicated, to say the least. But I have exams, a job, friends, 
a diet and exercise routine to maintain, albeit badly. Friends, family, and you. So here I go, trying to get through one more day, and then another, and another, and another, and another. I hope you stay with me for this adventure. It's gonna be a wild ride.